As a concluding step of this uh, demo, I'm going to show you a tool called Booleans and we can use this tool to uh, really uh, as a knife. So we can use it to carve certain parts of our model to remove uh, volume uh, from within our uh, model. So I'm going to use the Boolean separation called difference to cut out spaces for the wheels. Uh, but uh, before we can start using the Boolean's tool, uh, we need to uh, create some type of object that will act as a knife with which we will cut this, this volume, this object. So let's go ahead, go to Add, and let's add Mesh Cylinder. Add Mesh Cylinder. We can accept all the settings uh, in the Add Cylinder box. We'll just click OK and the cylinder has been created. So now we can move it by clicking on these arrows and we can also scale it. Let's click on the S key for scale. Let's click and drag um, uh, with uh, our mouse just to make it uniformly smaller. I'm dragging inward. Uh, now I'm clicking with my left mouse button to accept these dimensions. Now I will scale it again, but this time I will scale it on the vertical axis. So let me go ahead and press the, uh, the S key for the scale and then right away I will click on the Z key for uh, the Z axis. And then I'm going to drag my mouse uh, upward or downward for that matter uh, to uh, scale uh, the cylinder up. I think it's a little thin so let me go ahead and click on the S key again and then scale it uniformly slightly bigger and now I'm clicking with my left mouse button to accept the scale. So now let me go ahead and rotate the cylinder. I'm clicking on the R key on my keyboard for rotation and then right away I will click on the Y key to rotate the cylinder specifically around the Y axis. Now I'm moving my mouse and I'm rotating the cylinder around the Y axis. Okay, so I rotated it. It looks okay, but I'm pretty sure it's not 90 degrees because I'm not, I did not really use any numbers at this point. So let me go ahead and press the N key on my keyboard. When you press N, you will bring up your transform properties. In the transform properties, you have three numbers from a uh, four uh, rotation. You have rotation X, rotation Y, and rotation Z. So you can see that rotation Y, which I just did um, interactively in my viewport, is 89.96. It should be just 90. So I'm going to click uh, double, well, I can just double click on this number and I can type in precisely 90. I'm typing in 90 and, hi and hitting enter on my keyboard. And now the cylinder is precisely at 90 degrees. And at this point you can close a transform properties window or you can keep it open and then you can use uh, these uh, arrows and you can move your object and you can place it in such a way that it intersects with the body of a car. So you can find a pl uh, an appropriate placement. So I think this would be good, a good placement for the cylinder. So now let's go ahead and use the cylinder as a knife and cut out the space inside uh, the car. So basically we will use, mm, we, are, we are going to subtract the cylinder from the car. So let's do that. Let me click on my main mo uh, my main uh, model, which is this hybrid of a uh, action figure and the uh, and the car. And I'm clicking with my right mouse button. Now I am pressing my shift key and I'm clicking on the cylinder. 
So now both objects are selected. So now I'm going to press the W key on my keyboard. It brings uh, the Boolean tools options. So Boolean is actually a last name of a French mathematician who in uh, I believe uh, 19th century came up with a math mathematical formula for, t for what we are just trying to do right now. And uh, so Boolean is somebody's last name. And now I am going to choose difference. And please also note that when I made my selection, I selected the main uh, the main uh, model first, and then I shift clicked on the cylinder. So uh, the the main model should be selected first, and the cylinder should be selected second. Then you press the W key, and that brings the Boolean tool. And now finally, I will choose difference by clicking on the difference with my regular left mouse button. Now, visually it looks like nothing has changed. However, if you move the original model, you can see that the result, the resulting shape has this space cut out. Uh, space cut out. And um, at this point you can simply delete your original. You can click on the original, hit your delete key, you'll get a prompt asking you erase selected objects. Yes, that's what we want to do. I'm going to click on erase selected objects with my left mouse button. Well, I should probably do the same uh, for the cylinder. And now I have uh, the, res uh, the end result. I have my uh, model, uh, a dystopian uh, model of a, a strange looking hybrid of a toy car and uh, uh, some strange looking action figure, but uh, I think that definitely conveys um, a sense of dystopia. It can use more details. I think I would have worked a little bit more uh, on the, uh, on the uh, action figure to uh, finish it, but I think uh, it's, uh, the basics are there, and that concludes our uh, demonstration of uh, uh, using Blender to create a dystopian model uh, of, a, of a children's toy.